Okay guys, this is a really nice bag. Um, I picked this up on Amazon for about $18 and I was super impressed with the quality um, and just the way it felt out of the box. Um, I think they call it what, 600 denier or whatever the material. Um, comes with this G for free uh, tote bag. I don't know what you really use this for but it's cool. I'll give it to my wife, whatever. Comes with it in the bag. Um, you basically, you get the bag itself. I've got a couple extra accessories on the side. I will explain that here in just a minute. Uh, but let's go over the outside of the bag first. It does have molly strapping on the front. A two grid on the front. A three grid on the side. On each side, three grids. Um, on the back, actually it does have some polymer D-rings. Further attachments on each side. It has a Velcro where you can put a morale patch, which I have on there. It has um, some cordage here, along with a spring clip, and a little pocket on the inside here that goes all the way through. It's kind of nice. And um, on the back, it has a strap for the shoulder pack. It has where you can connect this to your belt when you're wearing it sling style. And I'm about six foot and I actually have to bring this, if I have this fully extended, I have to bring this up. So this should work out fine. Um, it does have a clip release here and it also has a button here where you can keep your concealed weapon. I have a 9 by 18 Makarov. It fits great. Um, you don't want to, I don't know if a 45 full size would fit in there, but uh, any type of 9mm uh, compact pistol would do fine. A little revolver would be great. Um, and if you don't want to use the sling, you can tuck this. I've got a knife. It also has a pocket here. So I have a knife here, so it makes it a little difficult. But if I took the knife out, you can tuck all of this in there and you can just hold it. Uh, but anyway, I use it sling style, and I'll still just carry it a lot of times right by the handle. Um, anyway, um, that's the outside of the pack. It's some mesh here. Um, like I said, it does have a carry handle at the top. It's not the best carry handle, but it, it, it suffices. I do have a couple carabiners right here, and I wanted something that I could carry every day, uh, something to the office, something, um, you know, I've got a 10-month-old son, I don't want to be carrying my three-day bush pack <laughs> everywhere, or my other uh, smaller size tactical pack, this I can kind of carry, keep it, and just, you know, for shopping, throw it in the car, and I'll have my pistol ready, um, I'm that type of person, man, I, I, I like to stay prepared, I'm kind of uh, OCD about it as my wife would tell you, maybe you guys are too. <laughs> um, organization is key for me. Uh, this bag does it on a daily basis, but it's also something I can take out in the woods because um, you can, you know, remove the things that are inside and put what you need, whether it's ammo, a few clips, whatever. Um, so what I've added to the outside of this bag, sorry, I just hit the, uh, hit the stand here. Um, this is just a, a side pouch I picked up from a... Um, military surplus so you can use that's just a pouch that's molly it attaches to the outside um, I don't think they sell these online you can probably find something comparable online just look for uh, you know molly uh, side pouches and I just tuck that in there and uh, holds my water bottle fine this is just a camelback I've got some duct tape around there just always good to have on this side um, this is what they call a night eyes <clears throat> Um, and this is just a clip type, but it will not come out uh, the clip the way the clip style is. And this is for my cell phone. Um, so those are the attachments that I have on the outside of this bag. And I'll give you a 360. Okay, now right here, this little pouch I was telling you about, um, I have a little stream light very bright little light and I keep that in that side in that uh, front pouch excuse me a uh, little area I do have a morale patch on there and I'll show you what I keep inside all right so it does have it has a pouch here on the front zipper pouch 
Only thing I keep in there is my RFD wallet. Now it has another zipper pouch right here. And here I keep a face mask, little pad, keep a Sharpie, little Leatherman tool, keep a vape pen, <laughs> another pen I've got, does have a clip, a keychain, but what I have here is an old compass that I keep on there. Some chapstick, a little roll of duct tape, and uh, that's about it for in the front pouch. But as you can see, that is a decent amount of space um, when you're considering how small this bag is. So that's that. Now, in the main compartment, the zipper here, these zippers are really nice too. I like them because they're corded so they don't jingle. I hate that. I keep a stocking hat. Keep this awesome little husky light, man. This thing is so bright, it's going to blind you. Watch out. <laughs> this is like 300 lumen little light. It's awesome, though. I love it. A pair of gloves. A pretty packed first aid kit. This has everything uh, from gauze to band-aids. Um, neosporin. Some scissors. Some waterproof bandage, adhesive bandages, some rubber gloves, tweezers. It's not going to handle anything too serious, but if you wanted to get a uh, trauma pack or something, you could do that. But this, this is great for me. Keep that in there. Then, this is a Condor, and this is really light. I don't pack this tight at all. Um, this is a Condor gadget pouch. This thing is freaking awesome. Keep a spork on the side, toothbrush there, pen there. Um, inside I have, I'm not really going to go over it too much, but I'll show you. Alright, I've got a backup battery charger and a cable. Um, I've got a fire starting kit, a light my fire bezel here. Um, bellow, excuse me, V3 pocket bellow. Got a fire starter, some other stuff, some fat wood that I found I keep in there. And some... What are these things? Hand warmer little hotties. <laughs> Those. And I also have in this front pouch, when you pull this up, I've got some batteries, spares for the headlamp and the little light here. Um, triple A's. Um, also keep a, like I said, the Altoid can actually has some of my medications wrapped up in some gauze. Um, it has the charger for my vape pen and a couple other extra things in there. Um, so that's that. And that is all that I keep in that pouch. But it is nice. It has a pouch here. It has a Velcro pouch here that I don't use because only the few items that I fit. It does have also, see that hole? It's a drain hole, which is nice. Um, so all of these things fit nice and snug. And in perfect fitting condition, gloves, headlamp, and the hat without any stress at all on the zipper. And that's what I carry during the day. Like I said, if I were to go out in the woods, if I wanted to take my AR-15 out and Go predator hunting at night or whatever. You can switch this up. You can put some ammo in there. Um, you know, put some snacks. Whatever you want to do. Um, if you just want to use it as a range pouch, that would be nice. Put, you know, put your earmuffs in there. Um, whatever you need to do. Um, like I said, I really enjoy it. And it's a real easy attachment. It's got the swivel here so you can change this from either side if you wanted to sling it over your left shoulder or your right shoulder all you do is switch this to there now you can also do this which is what I do a lot of times <clears throat> switch it right to that top part and you can just carry it over one shoulder and it stays tight to your body over just one shoulder 
um, but if you wanted to sling this over your back or across your chest you would need to uh, you know hook it to one of these d-rings down here but like I said there it is very nice bag keep the uh, folder just show you for size reference that's the size folder nothing fancy here whetstone cutlery it is very sharp though but that's what I keep in this pouch like I said I use it every single day I've had it about a month now and I absolutely love it um, I have carried this thing everywhere with me thank you guys hope you enjoy it